Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Super Paper Mario, and this is chapter 6-2, or rather, this is the second, um, next 25 Samurai Guys in the Samurai Guy Showdown, or the Duel of 100, or awesome stuff. So yeah, more of this. Tell me, Challenger, do you come to the 26th gate to see King of... Uh, yeah, Grandmaster Kickface. A lot of these names are really hilarious, too. <laughs> and face kick you receive. Yeah, some of them are references, or a good majority of them are references. This one in particular is just a guy who likes to kick face, which I, I, I'm not opposed to. Kicking face is pretty awesome. I must climb the highest peak and meditate on my failure to kick face. You may pass. May your feet swiftly impact the faces of dozens of warriors. Poor Master Kickface. He failed in his task to kick my face. Which ironic, because he didn't even attempt to kick me. He used his sonic sword. Anyway, you arrive at the 27th gate. I not wear it now, but I am soaring cape. But my cape has shrunk, and now I must defeat you. Tethered to the earth. I am at a great disadvantage, and you have honor. You will not use your best to build... No, of course I will. I don't have any honor. I'm Bowser. Bowser is honorless. Unfortunately, yeah. That's the one thing, if you... With these samurai guys, some of them will start the match in different ways. And if you know what they're going to do, you can prepare for that. For example, if I know when they're going to jump, I wouldn't just breathe fire, because it would be ineffective. But unfortunately, I am not psychic. So let us continue on. But before that, let's eat a whack bump. Um, there is a limited number of whack bumps you can get because if you, you know, get too many whack bumps, you'll, um, or too many. If you get, if you bump whack too many times, it will become extinct. That's like the main gimmick of whack. And I'm gonna try using Peach. I don't think Barry will do any damage, but we'll see. Waka! Piara! It's 28th gate, you yelling yucks! Pakao! Yeah, this guy's weird. 28th gate, fight! So yeah, okay, yeah, Barry won't do any damage, but he will stun. Unfortunately, this guy has a spike on his head, so while that would be great for someone with you can jump on, it's not really effective for someone like this guy. However, Kudge is also... Kudge is definitely a good alternative. I just feel like you'll get more damage in the long run by using Kudge as opposed to, you know, if you don't use Kudge. My battle screams had no effect on you. That was the first time I had to fight. Wait, the first time? Oh. Well, then how'd they get past the... I guess by that logic, no one has ever passed this gate. But then again... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if the other ones have ever mentioned being... You know, having someone try to get past them. Obviously, no one's ever done this before. Or fully, at least. The 29th Gate, the place of gossip and legend. Mystical Whistle. Obviously, the whistle from, um, Super Mario Bros. 3. Many have sought to harness my power to ride the wind past the obstacles of life. Some succeed. There is a name for them. The name is Cheetah! Now I will cheat you out of your life. Hey, that's pretty mean. Technically speaking, the... Yeah, I guess the whistle is cheating. I just like getting the whistles just to have them. I don't really... Like, I, I used to use them to get to Dark World. Nowadays, I just play the game the full way through. But I will not whisk you to a faraway land. Cheaters are only cheating themselves out of a great journey. That is true. It is the journey that is the real prize, not the ending. So let's continue to float on. We'll all float on. Well, Peach will float on. Luigi wouldn't be... well, Luigi's jump would be useful, I think, to an extent, but again, I still prefer using Bowser. Bowser seems to be the best character for this... for anything, again. Aha! You are that famous hero from a faraway world. Aha! Long have I heard your deeds, or, hi or hijinks. Laughing x not. Aha! Ha! I hate you. Ha 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 ha! I think this is the guy that, like, we met, and he was like, Oh, we're all doomed, and you thought he was laughing because he was insane, but no, it's because he's laughing x not. Ha ha. Ha ha, x not. I laugh on the outside, but I cry on the inside, always crying. Aw, poor x not. Actually, he's not an x not. he's... But he, his name is x not. yeah. Okay. Let's see who the next challenger is, or next opponent. 
Some men dance on dance floors, some men dance in Jubilee Celebration, and some men dance on the heads of turtles. I am that man! I am Dances on Turtles! Today it is you who- Yeah, well, ironically, Prowler is a turtle, so... You actually make sense in your logic. These guys definitely have some really epic dialogue, and that was dumb of me. You have danced a lively jig upon my honor. You can dance if you want to. You can leave your friends behind. But if your friends don't dance, and if they don't dance... I butchered the lyrics, I think. Actually, I'm not sure if I did. Oh, who cares? They ain't no friends of mine. I didn't butcher it as bad as... Um, Glee butchered that song. I, I really hated that remix I did of that. And I don't, I, I don't, I mean, it's not a, I don't hate music, but I just, I feel like they butchered that song. You cannot leap what is unleapable. So this is like Bottomless Pit. Obviously a reference to Bottomless Pits. Hello, I think, I think he's a ninja. Actually, I'm not sure which one is. I should look that up just for the sake of looking it up. Um, to see which one is which. Because, okay. Ninjos, yeah, ninjos are the purple ones. Um, so that's a ninjo. Uh, later, ninjons are the blue ones, and ninjeries are the orange ones. So ninjeries are the hardest. Crake, thirsting bones, guards the three, third gate. My dry, dry bones grow parched. Yeah, so obviously reference to dry bones. But thirsting bones. He's not just dry, he's in pain from not having any water. I don't know he'd be, he'd be dehydrated. That reminds me of the contest that, obviously back in 2006, that someone died because there was the contest of hold your Wii for a Wii, and I think it was in California, and basically it was drink a bunch of water, and then I think the person who did it, who died, like, didn't follow the instructions or something, but either way, it was a dumb contest, but basically it was just drink a bunch of water and don't go to the bathroom, and they ended up you know, that, that's not good for you, obviously. And then it goes back to the whole thing of, um, well, first, Rare, you stop now. Half cat, half geological event, Molten Panther erupts in a flaming sludge of, I think, lava? Magma? Magma lava? Purr. Um, so, that brings it to the whole thing of, I think someone, oh, someone, again, died, it was like a promising college student, died because they like sat playing a game and they died from you know just the sitting and not moving and then people were like some people were like oh well see this proves that not playing playing games is bad no it proves that you should move and not sit in the same position um i for me that i don't feel like that would ever be an issue because like i get uncomfortable if i'm in one position for a long time anyway so i constantly keep moving even when playing games so i don't get why you know it just means I mean, some of the weirdest things can kill you. It's actually pretty easy to die in real life. Um, it's kind of a scary thought, but, um, you know. Like, as much as you can say, oh, video games cause death. Well, no, a lot of things can cause death. And it's not the game themselves, it's things around the games. For example, not going to the bathroom, sitting still and not moving, chugging a pound of... or pound? Chugging 50 bottles of... That's something that a gamer, I guess Powerade or, I don't know, I, you know, people who drink like Red Bull, I don't really drink Red Bull, it's, I used to drink like energy drinks and caffeine, and I probably like, I've been more tired since I've been, not been drinking caffeine, but at the same time I feel like I've been happier. I could get into drinking coffee, but I don't like the taste of coffee. Anyway, let's kill this dude. The 36 fight. There's no way you can like, watch this and not make a reference to... Mortal Kombat. Fight. I think it's, I think it's Mortal Kombat. It's Action, Com Action Commander. Now, so now I'm reminding, remembering that episode from Cat Dog where they... I don't think his name was Action... No, Action Bob. That, like, cat, like, goes crazy. Like, the mandatory episode of any cartoon or any show where the main character goes crazy collecting something. Like, how in South Park it was, like... Not Pokemon, but it was a parody of Pokemon. Um, there was that for Pelswick. That show was interesting, Pelswick. If anyone remembers that from Nickelodeon. Um, it's kind of one of the more black sheep in terms of Nicktoons. Featured the kid in a wheelchair. 
Um, there was one with that collecting a bunch of cards, but yeah, the one with the cat dog where he just basically collected every mean Bob action figure ever. It's there, there's like episodes like that that are like of cartoons that are like um, you know, just repeats of normal concepts, you know. Um, like a lot of shows have the collection episode. A lot of shows have the one where um, the, the person's best friend is sliding shell. Um, but the person's best friend is a girl who's kind of like either goth or something. There's something with them that they're kind of strange compared to like the main girl they're going after, like this really pretty girl. And it's applied that they're going to get together at the end of the series, but for whatever reason they're just friends, even with all the hints that the girl is dropping. That's like some, a trend in a lot of, I feel like, cartoons sometimes. Um, but that, that kind of goes off top of a topic of my um, episodes. That a lot of, ep um, you know, I mean, obviously there's like the holiday ones. A lot of cartoons or, or TV shows have the obligatory um, Halloween, and Thanksgiving, Christmas episode. Um, there's, there's the collection one. Software pirate, barnacle beauty scourge of the 39th gate. I be plundering your bits on your bites and downloading them into my britches. May treasure disc will be full of cyber riches. Digibooty yahoe. So yeah, these guys are funny. But um, I'm trying to think what other. There, there, there's definitely other obligatory type episodes that, like not the ones with plot lines, obviously. Like any cartoon or TV show that has like a a storyline, they don't really have these episodes, but just, like, random, kind of, kind of slice of life episodes. Oh, the ones where people switch bodies, that one's a standard one. Um, switching bodies is standard. Uh, switching, um, I'm trying to think of others. I guess my, I guess the question is, what do you guys consider your favorite, like, cliched type of episode for any TV show? I mean, I can't think of any others off the top of my head. But, like, an episode that... A type of episode that appears in a lot of different cartoons with the same kind of style. Um, like, ones where... Switching bodies. There has to be other ones. Oh, like, evil versions where, like, the person battles an evil version of themselves in a TV show. Or there's an evil version involved. Or some, some kind of clone... Um, a lot of that kind of stuff. Like, stuff that, like, you've seen in other shows that's cliché, but you like that kind of cliché appearing. It's it's fun, even though it's clichéd. Because, yeah, like, the evil version of the Powerpuff Girls did that. Uh, Power Rangers did that. Power Rangers is... <laughs> we've been watching that recently, and it's really just... It's f fun to watch, but it's really, really bad. <laughs> it's like, ah, after 10,000 years, I'm free! Time to conquer Earth! But that doesn't change. It's it's funny to watch, but it doesn't change the fact that it's really just. I mean, part of it is they use a lot of stock footage from. Or I don't want to say. Well, it's kind of stock footage, but footage from the. It's basically. It was supposed to be a port or not a port, but uh, the American version of the uh, Super Sentai show or something. Um, from Japan, and they use the footage for your Sega Goomba, but they use the footage from it for the battles. But like all the American actors scenes are, you know new, and, like, when they, they have a voice actor dubbing the scenes during the fight, so, like, Rita Repulsa is, most of her voice, her, her lyrics, her words don't match up with her voice, so there's, like, really bad lip syncing there, um, but it, it's, Power Rangers is one of those shows that, I mean, it's on Netflix, I would want, I know everyone's complaining about Netflix, and I'm like, I don't know, I, I still like Netflix, I still like, I like the streaming, I mean, Maybe it's just me, and I'm not going to go deep on this, but maybe it's just me, but, you know, um, DVDs are going to eventually go on the way out, so personally, I'm fine with streaming. I don't really use DVDs anyway, even when they were popular. I wasn't Zesty Recipe, obviously, a uh, reference to Zesty, but, you know, I guess my thing is everyone's upset that they're trying to kind of, you know, not use DVDs anymore, and it's like, I guess my thing is, I know you're upset, but, like, you don't need to announce it. If you really don't like the fact that they're increasing the price, then go somewhere else. You know, it feels like a lot of people have feel like that there's some kind of need of like, you know, someone's watching a video of mine, for example, and they're like, "Oh, I, I don't like your videos anymore. I'm desubscribing." 
okay, desubscribe. You don't need to announce it to me. If you really don't like my videos, I'm not gonna... I mean, I wish you I wish you would give me, like, say, hey, you know, this is why I think your videos aren't good, maybe, if you're going to post a comment like that, but if you don't want to watch, don't watch. Same with Netflix. If you're not going to... You know, I guess maybe part, part of it is they want to cling on to what, um... what they're used to. You know, they want to cling on to... Uh, Netflix, they like Netflix. Actually, don't do this. Uh, you can just kill him with Bowser even when he's flipped, so don't worry about doing this with Mario. But, um, yeah. I think some people want to... They like Netflix and they want to keep it the way it is. But, I don't know, it's like with Facebook. Suppo Facebook is going to change and people are like, oh, I'm going to go to Google Plus and it's or Google U or whatever. And it's like, but it's the same thing that Facebook is changing to when you're changing to that because... Facebook is changing to... I don't know. It, people are weird, I feel. I feel people complain just to complain. But, like, the, for the people who honestly are upset with Netflix and want them to change, that's fine, but do you really want to be lumped in with all the other people who are just, you know, saying the exact same thing over and over again? Um, I feel like at least be more constructive. Maybe, you know, I mean, at the very least, stop paying for Netflix. That's voting with your wallet. Um, you know, posting online isn't really going to change things overall, but, you know, you can vote for your, for your wallet. I just don't feel like you need to announce it all the time. But then again, I am kind of complaining about complaining. I just feel like there's been a whole big thing about Netflix being really horrible, and I'm like, I don't know, I'm fine with streaming, so to me, I don't mind that the DVD service is being, you know kind of terminated. In fact, if anything, I'm, because they're adding games to it, I might actually... I probably still would rather do gameplay just because it's just games as opposed to, you know, DVDs. Which I don't care for DVDs. I don't really watch movies. I, I really watch Netflix only for the TV shows, and that's better through streaming for the most part. But anyway, round 46, fight. I know I've kind of lost track of my Samurai guys because I've been caught up in talking about TV shows. I really, I have, I've been really into TV shows more because they just, I like, I, just, I don't know, I just, I'm not as big on movies as I used to be. I feel like movies just can't do it, long-running shows or, um, you know, anime or stuff can do with plot lines and just, you know, just keeping you interested, I guess. Okay, who is the guard of this gate? It is... Slurpy, slurpy, slurp, slurp, slurp. Infinity slurpy slurp, you shall be slurp, no slurping. Slurp. So yeah, this this guy. He's an interesting fellow. Slurpy slurp. Yeah, I'm so glad I stopped talking about TV shows to say that. <laughs> no slurpy slurp. Sad about no slurp slurp. Oh slurpy well slurp slurp. Still hungry slurp. You know, I should just I should just do an episode of one of these just the entire time I just go slurp 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 okay no because I'd probably lose 50,000 subscribers I don't even have that much I would lose that much without even having it because I would be doing that um, bowels of a city oh okay this is spanner of rock which is a reference to rocky wrench I fling a rolling wrench into your plans um no you don't okay two more gates left I hate the Sonic uh, Sonic swords. They really do get a, become a pain in the neck a little bit. To the manhole, Batman. The bitter, rusty taste of defeat fills my mouth. I must return under the manhole to train with Grandmaster Rocky. Get it, Rocky? Wrench? Okay, anyway. Two more for this chapter. Because it is kind of chapters, basically. And this guy is another war uh, flipping guy. Star of Seven Shards, obviously reference to, like, Legend of the Seven Stars, or basically any of the RPG games where you have seven stars, which is basically all of them except for the Mario and Luigi games in this one. And even the Mario and Luigi games, you still have stars. Um, Bowser's Story is Dark Star, and then Star Cures, and then Cobalt Star, and then Bean Star. They're just not seven shards, but there's there are stars. This is the only game without stars, I'll give it credit, but it's also not an RPG, so... It's a platform with RPG elements. And our last Samurai guy is... Drumroll, please. Hello, big guy. A frigid wind ripples up the small of your... small of your... what? 
and you find me at the fifth gate. You try to tiptoe past my stormy wrath, but you bring down the avalanche. Did he really say his name? Is his name the avalanche? I'm honestly not sure. Either way, he's dead. Yay! And so I melt. You have beaten Ice Oh, Ice World. Okay. <laughs> okay, so this has been Mega Thunder, and I am reminding you that I love pancakes. 